In this video, I'm back to share four different methods I scratch built pots for use in dioramas or scatter terrain. So let's dive on in. Starting off with the easiest method and perhaps the most iconic pottiest pot that had ever been potted. I'm going to be using bottle caps, but in specific, I'm going to use a certain type of cap that you can find on top of tacky glue or wood glue that I found at the dollar store. But I'm sure if you try hard enough, you can find this style of cap on a lot of different items. So don't throw them away. If you're using these for dioramas, it's as simple as painting them up and then gluing them in place. But for me, I'm going to be using them as individual scatter with my system. So we're going to be putting a stainless steel ball bearing in each one. Then I'm going to seal it in with super glue and baking soda so that I can do this. The next technique I'm going to use for making flower pots is just about as easy. And this one's going to be using beads, which can be found in all shapes and sizes often with very intricate detail that's hard to make at that scale. For these pots, I'm gonna be sealing in the bottom using super glue and baking soda, but also dropping in some more ball bearings to give them some grab to my rails. Be sure when you're doing this that you're applying enough downward pressure on the bead that the super glue doesn't slip out from underneath. So next up, I'm gonna be making planter boxes. This is an easy craft, but it's slightly more complex than using beads or bottle caps. These are made from balsa wood rods and coffee stir sticks. I started by cutting both of them to one inch and three quarters in length, and then gluing them together. There's two tips that I picked up while making these. If your coffee stir sticks end up being flush with the top of your balsa wood rods like mine were, you're gonna wanna knock that down some by about 3 16 at least, so that the coffee stir stick has a lip over the top of the balsa wood rod that's gonna give you space to place dirt and the plants. And when it comes to working on the small sides, I suggest gluing down first and then cutting to size with a knife, just like I'm showing you here. After you have these built, you'll notice that they're super lightweight. And again, that's no problem for use in dioramas, but I'm gonna be the weirdo who wants to use them as individual scatter, so I need to weigh them down. I'm gonna do that the same way I did with the pots, I'm going to carve out spots for ball bearings. About four or five in the bottom works great. Then I'm going to seal them in with super glue and baking soda so that I can get this effect again. Now we're going to get to the last and most complicated technique I'm going to share, and that's to use actual clay. I think this might be the hardest, but also has a high ceiling for those of you who are more skilled in modeling than myself. The basics here are easy to understand, however. I'm going to roll small balls of clay and press them over a chopstick that I have propped up by some aluminum foil. Then I'm going to work that clay into a proper pot-like shape. Cut the top of it smooth with a knife and then add details as you see fit. Don't be afraid to make mistakes on this part. You can always restart if you don't like the results you're getting. Just re-roll the ball of clay and try again. After painting to make them look however you desire, I decided to fill them with coffee grounds that I had already used for coffee because I just think the color looked better. And finally, almost all you crafters out there already know how to make flowers, but I'm gonna cover it here real quick. All you need to do is take grass tufts, put a little bit of glue on the top of them, and dip them either in colored flocking or sand. Both of them are gonna have a real nice effect. I'd like to thank all my amazing patrons, especially Michael who's been pledging at the shop foreman level. Thank you. If you wanna learn how I made these thin modular walls, the video is going to be popping up somewhere over here. And until next time, keep all your fantasy fantastic.